Are you ready to unlock the power of God in your life? Welcome to Hightower Ministries Podcast. I'm your host, Karen Ordine, and I, along with my husband, Bill, will bring forth prophetic preaching and teaching that will unlock a deeper revelation of God's Word. So get ready for a powerful word that will raise your faith to believe God for more in your life today. Hello and welcome to Greater Glory. I'm Kara and, I'm and we're High Tower Ministries. Arise, church, arise. You know, when in opening up today, my heart has been burning with the passages beginning in Zechariah 1 7 through Zechariah 2 8. So Yahweh remembers, Yahweh blesses, and there's an appointed time. Yes, Hallelujah. Absolutely. And we're we'll talking about that today because in these visions that Zechariah saw that the Lord sent, to, you know, sent those. He, he there was he was sending those horses to and fro in the earth, to, you know, and found that the whole earth, the whole world, was at rest. And he goes on to say, "Arise and build. I am with you as a wall of fire, and those that touch you touch the apple of His eye." So God has been saying for a while now, focus on that which I have placed in your hands, those things that I have called you to do you to do hallelujah and as we we've been inquiring of the lord and faithfully putting our hand to the plow you know as this ministry god has been releasing greater anointing that will double you know the anointing he's been given greater authority Mm -hmm. and it's doubling the anointing and we've experienced that in high tower ministries not only for ourselves but for the people that are with us absolutely you know we're living in a time that we should be in great expectation of the lord uh, to experience greater authority over the enemy and a double measure of the anointing to do the work of the Lord. Right now, we are to sure up and restore the foundations in the church and in our country. Come on, I know you guys can say amen to that. Amen. With God's standards and his covenants. Amen? amen. Then we will need to have the heart of Nehemiah to build and to be at the ready to battle at the same time. But we should be expecting to see his glory, his presence like never before. God's glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His steadfast ones, his warriors, those that have not backed down in the cowardice and and wavered in faith. Those will see all the promises of the Lord come to pass before their very eyes. Amen. Amen. And it's time to stand up, cast off passive spirits, speak up with the revealed word of the Lord in your mouth that is how we wield our sword of the word. Are right. you hearing this tonight? Amen. It's time to walk in kingdom authority on the on a whole new level. So let's declare right now, open the gates of righteousness in our country and in our world today, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I have great expectations of what the Lord is going to do in this season because everything that is going on in, in you know that the Lord is doing we believe that you know we're headed for an incredible time of breakthrough. Yeah, amen. Yeah, amen. God has has heard the prayers of His saints, and and you know His saints have been asking Him for the gift of deliverance from the enemy. Amen. We, we need deliverance from what the enemy is doing, and and I believe that God is about to do something that only He is able to do and get done, and it's going to be for His glory. Yeah. And no one will be able to say that you know that it was anything that they did. It will only be by the sure mercies of the Lord, and he He will surely get his glory yes, out will. of everything that he does. Yes, Amen? Amen? Because people will say, only God could have done that. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. I want to share a couple of prophetic dreams with you real quick, just a portions, uh, just to share with you how God speaks to prophetic dreams. Mm-hmm. And and uh, these this is a very prophetic time that we're living in. Mm-hmm. And I believe that we're we're that these are not just for high tower ministries, but these are for the true remnant of Amen. Christ. Amen. Amen. So I had a dream that that it was Christmas, and and the the Christmas lights were out everywhere. They weren't they weren't lit up everywhere I looked. Every, and, and until I got to where I was going, and I and it was a place that I was going to be staying for just a short period of time, and um and it was my daughter and I, and uh, we were going into a city, and uh and there's a that's the dwelling place we were going to be for the meetings and things that we were that we were going to be 
going to be uh, going in there for. And, um, and the street that we were going on was all lit up. I mean, there was like a gateway that you that you drove through and the gate was, was all lit up for Christmas. The, the whole street was lit up at Christmas like, but everywhere else that we had traveled through that city was completely black. And when Hannah and I went inside, there was one light on in the whole dwelling place. And it was on a, it was over a small round k- kitchen table. And it, and it was just one light. And on that table was two contracts waiting for me to sign. Mm. Another, another dream I had was a, a large, had, had a large semi truck mm. and that this large semi truck was offloading boxes and it was winter time. And there was a lot to that dream that I won't be able to share tonight, but but this dream was confirmed through through a prophetic word given to us by a, an, another prophet that that it you know it was winter time for for many others, but it was Christmas for us. Amen. That boxes and gifts were coming, yes, and so Lord. we believe that that this is not just for our ministry and and you know in those that are connected with us. These are for pe- the people that are connected with us, but also we believe it's for the true remnant of, yeah. of followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are double doors opening right now and the Lord shall provide all that we, you will need to answer the call of God on your life. You know, the Lord has allowed this great deception to go on in our communities and around the world. Uh, this culture's council culture against righteousness. God's allowed this deception deception to come on the people because it is a sign of his coming. I mean, if you look at Matthew 24, you find out when they said, Lord, what is the sign of your coming? Deception is mentioned three times. It's the only thing that was mentioned more than once. So deception is is a sign of the Lord Jesus Christ's return. Mm -hmm. And many of our gatekeepers have fallen into spiritual sleep. Mm -hmm. But be encouraged because the church has been waking up and God will lift the deception off of of the off the remnant. He's not going to allow it to be on us. And he's going to expose wickedness. You know, there's also been a spirit of Diablo that has been uh, sent to divide our country from right to left, uh, right against wrong, according to God's word. You know, but God is saying to stand in celebration Mm -hmm. of the prophetic voices. Don't stand in toleration to this culture, but celebrate the prophetic voices. Celebrate because you can see the future through the word of the Lord. And his prophets. Yes. You know, the Lord said he won't do anything unless he tells his prophets that's, first. That's right. And he's given us the sure, more sure word of prophecy, which is his word. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. So if you don't celebrate, then you will hesitate. Mm-hmm. When you're faced with with all of this that's coming at us, and there's more coming, folks, this coming year, don't hesitate. You need to be celebrating the prophetic voices. You need to be celebrating what God is speaking to his remnant. Because if you don't, you're going to waver in your faith, Mm -hmm. and you're going to fall into fear. And God doesn't want us in fear. He wants us in faith. Amen? You, you, you know, you're, if you don't, if you waver, you're going to be up and down. It's going to be like being on a roller coaster. Absolutely. So if you have a witness in your spirit, Connect with that word of the Lord that God has given you or has given to the ministry for vision and direction uh, for the corporate body of believers and celebrate it. Come on. That's right. There can be no hesitation. The enemy may be blinded, uh, have blinded people uh, through its media. Come on. You know what I'm talking about? But God will cut it all short. Watch and see what he does over the next three years. You will be amazed. Amen. God is on the move. Yes. He is on the move. We need to watch God and look for him and look for for look to the hills for we know where where our help comes from. Amen. Amen. Our help cometh from the Lord. Amen. You know, the, the blindness will be lifted. Yeah, you know, I mean, we've we've come out of, of, of a cloudy state this past uh this past fall mm. of uh, some fall. end of summer. This foggy state. Mm-hmm. That's right. We come into clarity. And I believe that the body of Christ is even in more clarity. And but we've got to press into the prophetic. We've got to press into the voice of the Lord mm-hmm. and uh, and really understand, ask God to give you revelation of his of his prophecies mm-hmm. for in time. You know, the, the eye of the Lord is upon us. And judgment is coming on to the earth. Yes, you know, it is coming to, you know, to government and it's also coming into churches, mm-hmm. you know, and, and all those that all those sell out politicians mm-hmm. and passive preachers 
that will not preach holiness and the truth of God's word will be exposed. Yes. And God will bring to the forefront of, of you know of those that will not back down, those that will not back down from his word. He's going to bring them to the forefront. And those those fearless ones, those nameless ones, those faceless ones, those that are just not known, they're not normally known out there amongst the big circles. They're the ones who have been faithfully standing mm -hmm. and God's getting ready to promote them. Amen. So God is getting ready to promote you if you've yeah. been standing. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. He's getting ready to give you some work to do. We are the voices on the earth. Will you speak? You know what the Lord is saying in the moment of darkness? Mm -hmm. That's a question you'd ask yourself. God will give you grace so that you won't cut back down. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. The, the prophets have forewarned of, of this shaking, and we are in a time like no other. Absolutely. This year will be very hard for those that are not in Christ. Did you hear that? For those that are not in Christ, it's going to be a tough year. But we believe this nation will be at uh, will be set aside to bring forth God's purposes. And we believe we are part of a remnant people that God will emerge his great army out of. Amen. Come on, a fearless generation of young and old that will rise and stand for righteousness in such a way that it will cause many to walk away in shame. You know, men and women that will not be bullied into submission to this culture. And, and they're not going to be soft-spoken, sweet Christians that won't uh, that, that, that don't want to offend people. Come on. Come on. They will not bow down and tuck tail and run from persecution. Come on. This is what has happened in our country. The voice of God has been quieted inside and outside of the sanctuary while the sound of the world has been elevated. God's fearless warriors will be sent because they will help get the people anchored in faith. Come on. If you don't have faith in God, you have nothing. And you'll fall for anything. Isn't that the truth? Absolutely. Make sure your anchor holds that you are grounded in his word. Because the only solution to overcome fear and anxiety is to place all your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. You know, David, he knew that the Lord was his only source of strength. And we see in Psalm 63, 1. The scripture says, oh, God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Mm -hmm. Come on. And God speaks to Isaiah in Isaiah 44, 3. It says, for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And David also said, my heart is fixed on you. Come on, you see that in 57, Psalm 57, 7. My heart is fixed, oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> because of God's light and his power through enemy, though enemies come against us, come against me, I will praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's right. God is shining his light, people. Grasp the light of his presence. That's Hallelujah. right. Amen. For Hallelujah. Yourself, grasp it. Doesn't matter what the enemy's doing. We no. praise him right on through it, don't yeah, we? That's right. the, the young and the old, one beautiful sound is emerging. It is is the sound of the spirit of Elijah that's coming upon the earth. Yes. Hallelujah. It's a sound like we, we have not heard before. Mm -hmm. It is the sound of a mighty warriors coming forth. Hallelujah. And we pray that each one grabs a hold of the vision of the of the small cloud like the fist of a man's hand forming. And, and we have to keep praying that we will possess the gates of the yes. enemy, you know, which brings us to talk about the Judah is a car and Zebulun anointings. Hallelujah. Right now, we have three specific anointings in this season. Mm -hmm. It's the Judah is a car and Zebulun anointings. And they have been, you know, preparing us. God has already been uh, opened these up to us, but we've been uh, experiencing more and more of this anointing because God has been preparing us for his visitation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Preceding the coming of the ark of the Lord before the glory, the Lord has been, you know, has been and now is releasing the standard of Judah, the lion like nature of God. You know, it's it's the young lions. We're, we're roaring. Hallelujah. The understanding of the times of the seasons like Issachar and the blessings of understanding God's dwelling place 
of Zebulon. Mm -hmm. And once he has fully prepared us, then we will come the Ark of the Covenant, Mm -hmm. the glory, which represents the the very presence of God, you know, God landing in whatever way he wants to land to do whatever he wants to do. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the glory of God. You know, the Judah anointing, the spirit of Judah is like that prevailing spirit of a young lion. Lions who have no fear. They are the king of the beast. The Judah anointing is a ruling anointing that operates with great authority. Hallelujah. That's what God is releasing. That's what this anointing does. Mm -hmm. You know, now the sons of, of Israel arose, went up to Bethel and required of God and said, who shall go up first for us to battle? Then the Lord said, Judah shall go up first. That's in Judges 2018. The cloud is moving and those who are provoked, those that are moved, those that are stirred in their spirit, I am going to give them something that they need for this coming season in history is what God is saying right now to his church. I'm going to give them my lion-like nature, the lion-like nature of God to deal with anxiety in fear from my people. Mm. When Judah went uh, behind the cloud, the lion-like nature of God went behind the cloud. And and it was what has been given to those in Hebrews chapter 11. It, It is imparted by God. It's great faith. It's a boldness. Hallelujah. It's something that we don't possess of ourselves. Mm -hmm. God is sending the Judah anointing on his people to rid them of all fears, anxieties, and panic attacks. Mm -hmm. Fear opens the door to the enemy to come in. That's why we don't want to give the enemy power. Don't speak in fear. God wants us in great faith. Fear can have no place with the people of God. Through the anoint this anointing, through the anointing of this end time believers, end time believers are going to rise up in the boldness to proclaim the good news without fear, just like the apostles did in the book of Acts. Come on. Now let's talk about the Issachar anointing. We see Issachar was the observant one, being watchful and attentive to his surroundings. He was aware and understood the events around him. He understood the times and the seasons. Perhaps that's why God chose him to follow Judah as the second tribe when Israel moved behind the cloud. We need the Issachar anointing to know what God is doing in the earth and how we fit into that plan. Where are we in the scriptures? Come on. What is being fulfilled in our day? I believe the Issachar anointing is essential in knowing that. And God has been releasing this anointing, and we have been obtaining great clarity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not going to look back, and we're not going to look ahead, because what we establish here will take us right into the millennium. So we need the Issachar anointing so that we understand where we are in the relation to where we are going. This remnant of end-time believers will have their eyes open to see the bigger picture of what God is doing on this earth. They will be illuminated and uh, with understanding. We have a plan, but God has a better plan. Yes, Come yes. on, hallelujah. Yeah. And the Issachar anointing helps us to tap into God's great plan. Hallelujah. And yeah. last, we're going to talk about the Zebulon anointing. The Zebulon anointing helps uh, helps to establish the revelation of Jesus Christ in the hearts of a remnant who will be part of God's movement in this new mm. season. You know, it says in Romans 8, 19, all of creation is waiting and groaning for the revelation of, of the mature sons of God. Hallelujah. These are those who have been have received revelation Mm -hmm. on how to access their inheritance. Mm -hmm. We've got to know how to access what God has for us and pull it down. You're an heir (laughs) of salvation. You have an inheritance with God. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you were baptized in the Holy Spirit, that was just a taste. That was just a, a little bit of what God has got for you. We've got to, we've got to come into our full inheritance. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So it, it, th- these are, these are those who have received revelation of how to access their inheritance, which has been stored up in heaven throughout the ages, but not released on the earth until now due to the lack of revelation. Mm-hmm. But, but this anointing, 
a remnant of God's people is going to taste the good word of God and the powers of the age to come. Oh, that is the perfections of your faith that is found in Hebrews 6, 5. Mm -hmm. These pioneers will cross over into a new age to, to come. This is our the new age crossing over to bring the powers of that age back into our day. Hallelujah. Like the, like the Israelites who were sent to spy out the promised land, yeah. these forerunners will venture over into the land of promise and bring back the fruit of that land and say, here it is. This this is what we're we we're after, yeah. and it's over there. Right, and we're right. gonna go cross over again what is ours. Mm -hmm. Amen. What God said that we yeah. can have. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, they are going to contend for it. Come on. You know, we're going to be a people that we've got to be a people that will contend for the promises. Hallelujah. They're going to be ones that will build for it. They're going to believe for it. Yes. They're going to move into it. Yes. They won't have the, the fullness of it yet, but they will have a taste of it. And a little taste of that realm can change a generation, given the ability to center a whole to a whole uh, new season center around the whole new season for these people to cross over all of us, the remnant to cross on over and Come grab on. our inheritance. Time Hallelujah. To in. It's on. time to enter in. So will you be one that will press for the prize? Yes. Lord. Or will you be one of those ones that are scared to death and say, Hey, we look like grasshoppers over here. No. You know, come on, we've got to go. We've got to do what God tells us to do and know that he's going for us. He's going before us and he is with us because of the Zabalon anointing. These forerunners are going to cause e e eternity to overshadow our realm. Mm. Hallelujah. The, all of the host of a angel armies are on our side. Yeah. God has sent his angel armies among us to work among us, right. to help us. Right. We are not alone. <laughs> you know, the, the, we're a people that are going to experience things that we may never have dreamed about. Mm. We're we're a, we're the generation that is going to be tasting the amazing things of God. The glory of this latter house is greater than the glory of the former house yeah, cool. because of the revelation out out from the Zebulon, the Zebulon anointing will come. Those that will do warfare as a scribe. Hallelujah. Mm. In other words, those who write for the Lord will release the needed revelation for today. Ooh. When God gives you something to write. We need to be praying for a scribe angel to come alongside us, the help of the Holy Spirit to get the work done. Because th th this uh, Zebulon anointing is also part of that is a for a scribe anointing. Mm -hmm. It's a scribe anointing. So God is blessing those that are, are writing for him. Timely and seasonal revelation for his remnant as God, uh, you know, his presence begins to move all of us forward. Hallelujah. Amen. We've got to know what to do. Yes. And he's, he's given it to his, his, his certain ones to write it down Come on. and publish it. Yeah. And how about some good news here? We Come are receiving on. all three anointings combined. All Come three. on. <laughs> Those who receive these anointings will not be limited to one, but will have all three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They will be well equipped to carry out their end time assignments as they operate in the boldness of Judah. The awareness of Issachar and the revelation of Zebulun. They will therefore be well equipped to fulfill God's purpose for their life. We are walking in this right now. Mm, this no is more. not something that is to come. This is already upon us now. Mm -hmm. And if you'll grab a hold of it and really understand it, you're gonna you're gonna receive the fullness of it. Come on. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because God's already released it. It is ours. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So just as the tribes of Israel work together to do the will of the Lord, so will these three anointings work together to enable the remnant of believers to do the will of God. Yeah. We've got to know the will of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. We're here to decree the will of God Amen. in the earth. Amen. Deuteronomy 33, 18 and 19 says, you know, that we will see the prophetic decree where both Zebulon and Ezekar are called people uh, to the the mountain of the Lord. They they they're called they're called to the mountain of the Lord. Yeah, we're, we're called on, on to the come people. on up. We're, we're we're called to come on up with the Lord. Yeah. They they will offer righteous sacrifices. So we give the we offer up the the sacrifice of praise. Mm -hmm. We are living sacrifices unto our Lord. Hallelujah. We, we our life is not our own. Yeah. It was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I'm no longer myself, my own. I belong to the Lord. Amen. And so do you. Amen. And so do you. 
Hallelujah. And so we're a people that will draw out the abundance of the seas, the hidden treasures of the sand. Amen. The abundance of the seas, when you're talking about it, and the hidden treasures are both spiritual and literal treasures. Yeah. So this is going to affect the spiritual realm and the natural realm. It's yeah. going to affect us, our prosperity as well. Amen. Amen. Treasures yeah. is prosperity. So, it, it, but it's also spiritual. Spiritual treasures are gifts from the Lord, pearls of great price, miracle signs and wonders, the gifts of the spirit manifesting through us and in, in, in the earth. And, you know, this is where the, the natural and the, the supernatural work together. And I want to make mention too, that when seas, the word seas are mentioned in pro uh, prophecy. Oftentimes it means the sea of people. Right. Come on. So when you're reading Revelation, it's talking about out of the sea. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's saying that they'll rise out of a sea of people. So out of this word, it's saying that we're going to receive abundance of, of, of treasures and, um, you know, hidden treasures and abundance out of the sea of people. Come on. Not out of literal right. seas. That's right. Amen. Yeah. So we're we're going to share four lessons that uh, we can learn from what God did with the Israelites, uh, Israelites, so that we can understand what we should be doing mm -hmm. right now. Amen. So um, the first one is um, we are to wait on the cloud to move first. Mm -hmm. You know, do not move ahead of the cloud and do not get left behind after the cloud has moved. When the cloud moves, it's time to move. So when you feel the unction of the Holy Ghost, it's time to get up and pay attention and do what the Lord is doing. Do what he is saying in that moment. Don't wait and say, oh, I'll do it another time. And um, and don't try to get ahead of the Lord. Wait on the Lord to give you the unction Amen. and give direction. Amen. All right. The second thing is we are to follow every detail of God's instructions. God gave the Israelites different instructions for different situations, which included blowing the silver trumpets in some cases and sounding alarms in the other cases. Come on, Numbers 10, 1 through 10 uh, is, is an example of that. Likewise, we must be careful to how how, how to flow in, in every detail of his instructions, to follow those That's instructions, right. right? Which will be different for different situations. Come on. And then take uh, number three, we need to take notice of the fact that wherever the Israelites went into battle or move their camp, God instructed them to move in a specific order mm -hmm. behind the clouds so that Judah, Issachar, and Zebulon always moved ahead of the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. You know, in the same way, God is equipping the end time church, his ecclesia, the, the three anointings here that we'll, what they are going to perceive. His return on the earth. These anointings have the same character traits as the three tribes. They give us the uh, at atonement and, a, and, a, a, and they help us to um, to move and enable us to overcome the spirits of hell. I mean, the, the demonic that are trying to hinder us. You know, God, you know, God gives us these anointings for a reason. Mm -hmm. Amen. The enemy yeah. is trying to hinder, you know, but, you know, but by receiving these anointings and walking in them, receiving them and walking in them, our victory over the schemes of the devil are, are assured or we're going to have, we're always going to be victorious. Amen. Then we will say, just like Moses, Moses, we're going to say, just like him, rise up, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's how we should be praying. And let those that hate you flee before you Amen. in Jesus name. Yeah, absolutely. And the fourth thing, uh, it, it, just as the presence of the Lord returned to the tabernacle after the Israelites moved, the end time church, his ecclesia will usher in the return of the Lord and the beginning of the millennial reign. Come on. Ju just as Moses said, after the dark came to rest, after the ark came to rest, rather, um, Oh, Lord, turn back 10,000s of Israel's numbers. And he said that in uh, in, in Numbers 10, 36. Amen. So, that's after the glory. That's right. And um, there, you know, there's a time for everything. Absolutely. You know, and, and it's a huge problem if we can't uh, stick with that time frame. That Absolutely. God gives us. Yeah. You know, and if, 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 if the church does not discern the time that, that we are in, um, you know, we're going to have the big problems. You know, there are there are variations of time. Absolutely. So there, uh, there's a, there, there's time for judgment. Come on. And there's time. Hallelujah. for trouble. Yeah, and there's time for crisis. Uh, there's time for opportunity. 
Uh, there's time for chastening, you know, for correction from the Lord. There, there's appointed times. There's a time for peace, refreshing, acceleration, and a restoration. There's a time for restoration. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. However, what we have to remember is that God gave us these times for a reason. Come on. And you may be going through something right now. Look, God didn't say that once you, you, you got saved, you wouldn't have to go through some stuff, mm -hmm. right? What he promised us is that he would never leave us or forsake us and that our promise would, would they, they would come to pass. And that evil would not take uh, take us over as, as long as our eyes were on him. Come on, are your eyes on the Lord right now? You know, just as Solomon wisely told us, there's a time and a season for everything. But we must keep our eyes on God. That's right. Amen. And when you think about persecution, you know, why is it that we think that persecution is a dwelling place and not a time of persecution? I mean, this pers persecution is not a dwelling place. Just, just, just because Jesus said that we would suffer persecution does not mean that we should be continually persecuted over every day, every day. It should not be happening every day. You know, there are times for that persecution. There are there will be times of persecution, just like there's times for healing, mm -hmm. times of restoration, times for grieving, times for prosperity, times for opportunity. Come on, there are beautiful things ahead. That we should be looking for is what we're trying to say here. And because people are so moved by what they see in their present time, it's hard for them to see prophetically in the spirit. What's what's ahead, what God has for us, what he's promised us, because their eyes are on the natural facts of the present instead of the word of the Lord for the future. Someone is so true. Amen. When we pray, we can't just draw faith from the present time, from what we see. Faith is not by what we see. It's not by what we feel. Right. Amen. It's not by what we what we know to be true is factual. Faith is the evidence of things not seen. Amen. Things hoped for. That's right. Amen. But we need to draw faith and power from what God is showing us that is coming in the future. You know, things that he showed us prophetically and also showed us in his his word. You know, we say we say what God has said. We say what God has shown us and draw faith and insight from that future for what he's saying how do we know what the future holds well that is what prophetic insight is yeah. is is drawing from that faith from what god has said hallelujah to know by the spirit of the lord what you look like in the future what your situation is going to look like in the future hallelujah to know what they or it looks like in the future is a prophetic insight right. so it's when you are in the spirit and the spirit of the living god reveals where you're headed and it looks much better than the situation that you're standing in right now come on yes <laughs> you may be in trouble you may be sick uh you, you may have distress on every side but remember when the enemy comes in like a flood the spirit of the Lord lifts up a standard against him. Hallelujah. That's right. In the midst of distress, it uh, as it says in scripture, right? Amen. So uh, Isaiah 6, 3 says, uh, Isaiah heard the angel saying out of the throne room of God, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Yes. Hallelujah. All that Isaiah had seen in the natural would make him say, in his mind, what are you talking about? When he looked around the natural. Right. Be, mm -hmm. I mean, when he looked in the natural, he wasn't seeing that. All I have seen is, uh, is po political upheaval and righteous persecution that was all around. And so your your mind's going to say, what are you talking about? Right. And, uh, but you know, the, the, the mind and the spirit are always at odds with one another. Absolutely. And, and Isaiah, no doubt, felt unworthy. Uh, he just like, you know, he just like us in the natural all, you know, you know, all of his problems that he had and, and the things that were going on in his life, we're just like, he's, he, we are just like him where he says, I'm a man of unclean lips. Mm -hmm. Why? Because if you're saying what you see, if we're saying what we see and not, not saying what God said, we're, we're, we're saying, we're reciting what the present natural facts and circumstance are mm -hmm. and speaking that instead of speaking faith. And we're speaking out of unclean lips. Mm -hmm. We should we should be uh, putting those natural facts under God's promises because God's word is true and it trumps everything Amen. in the natural. Amen. Hallelujah. What God has revealed about 
you and what God has revealed about this ministry and about his remnant is coming forth. What God has revealed about this whole world is coming to coming forth. And this is this is the answer to the prophetic. It is to say, I know the outcome. Yeah. Because I know what God has said. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So for you right now, this may be a time of challenge and, and a painful time. But we're we're not going to pray according to what we see, right? In the present and natural. I'm, I'm going to pray according to what God has shown me in the spirit about the future. Come on, that's what you need to say. And I'm going to draw faith, power, and insight from the future God has shown me. Come on, stand up in faith and, and, and pray in faith what God has promised you for your future. Acts 3, 18 through 21 says, But those things which God before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Christ should suffer, he has so fulfilled. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. You know, it was spoken by the prophets what would happen. They And, and what they said was they should have discerned the time. Mm. And mm. Um, you know, repent and be converted that your sins would be blotted out and that the times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. You know, this is this is an issue, folks. Repentance. We, we've got to repent from from not understanding and not uh, taking it taking it lightly, taking taking things lightly. Mm-hmm. What does repentance do besides get us back on top? I mean, that's what exactly what it does. Repent means top. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, re means go back to and circle around to to turn back to. Mm-hmm. So repentance is about getting back to the top with God, Hallelujah. putting our sin under the blood and rising back up. Yes. So once there is repentance, we then qualify for times of refreshing you, in yes. his presence. Mm. Times of refreshing will come from the presence of God yes. as we humble ourselves under his mighty hand and repent Amen. and confess our sins. Yeah. Amen. And apply the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood, apply the blood of yes. Jesus over our lives. The one thing that is lacking in so many people's lives is and in many churches is the presence of God. And it's 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 because so many do not discern the time. We, we have to be able to discern the, the time prophetically in the face of all the evil reports that are bombarding us on every level. Amen. You know, praise the Lord for his word today. Yes. God wants Thank us to Father. have the, the Judah anointing, the, the Issachar anointing, the Zebulon anointing. He wants us to obsess it, walk in it, yeah. so that we are we, we are discerning rightly the times that we're yeah. living in. Hallelujah. And rise up as a people like lions with boldness yeah. in the face of the enemy yeah. that won't back down, that yeah. knows God's word, believes God's word, mm-hmm. knows their Lord, has a relationship with God, and says, I don't care what you say. I know different. Yeah. Hallelujah. Like not leave me nor forsake me. Amen. He won't. No. He will not. Mm-hmm. He'll never leave you or forsake you. Mm-hmm. And he will do everything that he promised you that he was going That's to do. Right. Hallelujah. We have shout from, he is not. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so wait for him. Yes. That wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. We are we telling you to wait. Wait on the Lord. If you don't understand what's going on, wait. Mm-hmm. I say wait on the Lord. That means worship him. Mm-hmm. Get in his word. Spend time at his feet. Wait on him and God will direct your path. He will light it up for you and you'll know when it's the appointed time to move. You will uh, discern by the spirit of the Lord when his cloud of glory is moving. Come when on. God is on the move and he's telling you to move, you're going to sense it. You're going to know it. And that's the time to flow with the Holy Spirit and get up and, and co-labor with the Lord. Come on. Every time we need to know something mm-hmm. because we're not we're unsure, we pray. You wait on the Lord yeah. until the answer comes. You right. pray until Amen. it comes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Well, let's pray. Hallelujah. <laughs> let's pray.
Well, Lord Father, we thank you for the viewers today. We thank you, Lord, for everyone that has had the chance to stay with us over this broadcast, Lord. Lord Father, we bless them right now. Lord Father, we thank you that you are activating the gift of faith and the working of miracles, Lord God, the gifts of healing. Yeah. Lord Father, you're activating all of the revelatory gifts in their life, Lord Father, that they would be able to discern, Lord God, by the, the gift of discerning of spirits, Lord. Lord Father, activate the gift of word of knowledge. Lord Father, activate the gift of, of word of wisdom and the gift of prophecy right now, Lord God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We just decree right now such an activation. There's such an activation right now that's happening for uh, viewers that are watching this right now and those that are even with us live. There's an increase of anointing right now. Lord Father, we thank you for the these the Judah anointing that we're coming up, Lord God, that with a boldness as young lions, Lord yeah. God. Lord Father, we thank you for that is a car anointing that we can discern the times, Lord Father, and perceive and understand, Lord Father, for the books of prophecy, mm -hmm. Lord Father, about these end times, Lord God. And Lord Father, we thank you that we're able to understand where we're standing in all of this. Lord Father, that we will be able to prepare, Lord Father, and help others to be prepared and come into your kingdom, to not delay, Lord God. Lord Father, we thank you for that Zebulon anointing, Lord Father, that, that helps us to, to step into all that you've called us to do, Lord Father, at the appointed time. We bless your holy name, and we loose that to them now yeah. in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So we just want to thank you for joining us here at High Tower Ministries International for our Greater Glory broadcast. And we hope this show has edified and encouraged you in the Lord. If this ministry has been a blessing to you, I, I just want you to prayerfully consider becoming a monthly partner with High Tower Ministries International. You know, it's easy to do. You just go to HightowerMinistry.org and I go to our partner page. And uh, when you become a partner of High Tower Ministries, you'll you'll be helping the ministry to reach the world mm -hmm. with the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, you can uh, get connected with us by registering with us on our website to receive newsletters, articles, and special ministry messages right to your email inbox. And when you when you fill out this little uh, form that pops up on our website, you just put in your name and your your email address, and just don't worry, we don't we don't give your email out to anyone that us. It's just it's for only for our ministry. And it's so that we can be connected outside of the social media platforms. Amen. And we can send things directly to you and that you also have a way to email us back. Um, and, you know, if, if we've been a blessing to you, we want to hear from you. Uh, there's there's ways there that you can get free downloads. Um, there, you know, when you do register, there is a free download that automatically goes to your inbox. That'd be a great blessing to you and your family. So register with us on our website and become an eChurch member of Hightower Ministries today. Amen. You know, another way to stay connected uh, is, is to go to Linktree Hightower Ministries. And these links will all be in the comment section below. So don't worry uh, if you're if you're not sure how to spell Linktree. Uh, so Linktree holds all of our links to one easy to use page where you will be able to navigate to all of our social media platforms, to our interactive website and email forms. Uh, you'll be able to access our itinerary, our partner portal for equipping leaders, our resource material, our podcasts, our live events and broadcast specials, and so much more. So make sure you visit our YouTube channel and subscribe there as well by hitting the button. And uh, that way you won't miss a show there on YouTube. And we have new uploads each week on the Hightower Ministries YouTube channel. And then we've got three uploads that go up every week on, on YouTube Praise for, your, the Lord. for your spiritual growth. Hit that bell. Make sure you subscribe and yeah. uh, pass it on to others because some people are not on Facebook. So yeah. YouTube is a great way to get them connected and send them our website as well. Amen. Um, you know, also on Linktree, it opens up all of our tabs. So there's a place there and also on our website for personal prayer requests. So don't hesitate to reach out to us. When you send your personal prayer requests into High Tower Ministry, our team is, is praying for you. We are personally praying for you every day. But we also have corporate times of prayer where our intercessors are also uh, uh, praying for you corporately. So uh, send your prayer request in. And pastors, we are available and we'd love to be part of your conferences or your guest ministry schedule. Just reach out to us. We'd love to uh, see if we can uh, come together and, and work together in ministry. Amen. So thank you for joining us today. And don't forget to share this with your friends. And until next time, be blessed. Be blessed. Thank you for listening to the High Tower Ministries podcast. Our shows are broadcast each week on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. For more information about this ministry and to acquire our resource materials for spiritual growth, 
visit our website at www.hightowerministry.org. Look for Hightower Ministries on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Get connected with us. We would love to hear how the Lord is moving through this ministry and how the Word of God is impacting your life. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to rate and review on Apple Podcast and subscribe wherever you listen so you don't miss a show.